Say, if you if you thought that R. Kelly documentary was something else, if you thought the last 32 minutes of Avengers Endgame was something else, you ain't lived until you watch this King Von serial murder, serial killer uh, documentary on YouTube. Like, um, Let's have the conversation about it because I really do want to talk about this. And I want you to bear with me because I'm going to have about three to four very differing opinions about this documentary and King Von. First thing, much love and much respect and my condolences to the family members of those who he on actual law enforcement record has been confirmed as the killer of. Uh, to those of the, of the family members of those murders, of those people who were the victims, my condolences to them because I'm pretty sure this does nothing to help your psyche. It does nothing to help you guys as far as you dealing with the grief and drama, crump, grief and trauma of you losing your kids or loved ones. I just want to add context to that. With the people who are shocked, who are so shocked that he was really out here shooting people, I'm a, I don't, you guys kind of baffle me a little bit, bro, because it's no, it's no secret that King Bomb was really out there shooting people. Every other six to eight months, we receive a notice or some news story go or some law enforcement paperwork goes out letting us know that he has been named as the number one suspect or the number one person who probably killed somebody. This keeps happening. It happened with KI, then it happened with the thing where they found out it was him who probably put the bounty on FBG Duck's head, then some other person. It just, just keeps happening. I think a lot of y'all are just shocked because when you actually put a face on these people and identify them, when you see that some of them were teenagers, then it looks different. I'm never going to support crime. I'm never going to support criminals. But being that even though I walk the path of being a civilian, even though I walk the path of being a law-abiding citizen, I do come from a family where uh, some of my family members, people who I love, have been involved in the streets. People who I still put money on their books to this day in jail. And I look at it a little bit differently, I guess, because I know that there, even though I don't agree with it, there are multiple neighborhoods out here where you have people like Avon walking around. I hope y'all know that. Not always, because I can tell you wherever you go to, there's always going to be more bitch than real this it is what it is. You're always gonna have gangs where you have, I say, sixty percent of them not even be about nothing unless they're in a group jumping you, versus the forty, maybe the twenty, thirty percent that really might actually shoot something. Now, bringing this up to say this, there's a King Von in a lot of neighborhoods out there. They might not all have six bodies. A lot of them get locked up after the first two bodies or one. But there's a lot of King Vons running around here, and. I'm not going to make the defense for him about saying your socioeconomic system, because as you can see, he still kept going on with the shooting and the BS, et cetera, et cetera, even after making it out the hood, which is insane to me. But it is something to be talked about. The, the, the You know, the part in that whole documentary really struck me the hardest to keep it 100 with you was the situation with uh, K.I., the girl. That hit me hard. There was a story where um, after supposedly he killed Modell or him and his boy killed Modell, which was a child which was a friend of the girl, K.I., who was a hitter for the other side of the conflicting side. That same night when they found out that Modell was killed, she went to where he lived at, I guess, Parkway Gardens and just started shooting at anything that she could shoot at. And it really struck me to imagine, to put myself in the mental space of that woman, that, that little girl, she was only like 16 or 15 when this happened, to lose a friend and you just go through an emotional mental breakdown and you say F it and just run, catch the bus because I doubt she had a car. Just run to where they live and just start shooting. Like just because you're just mentally just like, like the, it's just as wild, bro.